from now on, we're going to start panel discussion. We are a little bit running behind the schedule. We have about 15 minutes for a panel discussion. I'd like to ask Mr. Yoon kyung a question. As I said before, we heard often about the ownership of NFTs. And you said in your presentation you are creating a prototype of access control or an approach to read into a copyrighted NFT work. So we have a content creators in this room. So could you tell us briefly how your prototype will be used for these creators? A pasu. We are taking this approach. Let's say a document is lit. Without a key, you can look at, you can read the document. That's our business. If this business approach is applied to NFTs, most of the NFTs are digital assets, they are in the form of documents or digital money or videos. So I think we can take two approaches. Let's assume that the original copy of the NTF copyrighted work is more valued in video. As you know, it is in the form of 4K and 8K. And the original copy of the video should not allow easy access. Then we can at least provide a preview and a copy of a copy with a lower audio quality can be provided. But you have to have a key to access the original NTF copyrighted work. That's one of the options or approaches. So I think it is a slightly different idea from the open sea idea. The theme of this conference is technical challenges for everyone's copyright. I took the example of the open sea because it, it is an idea that allows everyone can have access to content. So now I'm going to ask Director Kim tan this question. First of all, regarding the right to read, we didn't uh, clearly know the concept at first, but, but we tried to reflect this concept in our technology. There are two things. Firstly, at our creators, if you buy NFT with the function of preview, then you can activate the button to see to read the original copy. This is one way. And the other way is that in the case of Webtoon and in the case of other content, we have the functions of a paid preview. And also, only members can read a certain content. Such functions can be implemented uh, with NFT. Face of the author or the main image of the webtoon can be applied here with the technology. If you buy the content with a piece of the main image of the webtoon, for example, and if you check uh, the authenticity, and once your wallet logs into the NFT, uh, you can enjoy the content of, of the author. This is generally uh, often used function. And content creators are giving this exclusive content to their fans or users. So the Paid preview function could be could be an example of what you said. I would like to ask one more question. QTF has all the internal in-house filtering, 
and you use UCI technology and AI as well. So I think that is a good device to filter malicious creators, but this is your company's internal process, so you may face copyright issues. In terms of copyright law, the court will determine whether the the use of such content was done legally um, or not. And from your perspective, the copyright issues must be solved so that you can build the credibility and reliability. And what kind of strategies or policies do you have? I wanted to explain about this during my presentation. Content service providers want to earn trust from the users regarding such business structure. We need support from the government institutions and from other related uh, institutes. First of all, the content report can be done to the Copyright Association, not only to us then the institute related to copyright will be the direct party dealing with the uh, copyright issues of the content on our platform. And users may realize that the content is being filtered not just through the internal determination or decision of the platform operator, but also by the uh, assessment and determination by the relevant government institutions like Copyright Commission. So I hope uh, improvement will be made in this area so that small NFT markets will become more successful. Thank you. Not only policies, but also in terms of raising awareness of users, that will be helpful. And I have a question to Mr. Kim Gwang Il. In the first session, Professor Nam explained about uh, the creation of uh, music based on AI and the relevant copyright issues. So, real fashion is different. Real fashion and digital fashion are being dealt with these days, and you took good examples of digital twin as well. And in the digital fashion industry, are there any copyright technologies that have become important uh, topics these days regarding copyright, digital content? can be copied um, without limit. This is one of the issue with digital content. When there is digital content, there are also many metaverse platforms like Roblox. Someone may take this digital content and sell uh, those content on the platforms. Even if we adopt NFT, if we don't uh, actually monitoring is not being done properly. If you look at the raw data that we have, we have all the logs and records. And for each of the unit, we, if we cooperate with the relevant technology companies, we will be able to better uh, operate the digital content transactions on the platform and correctly distribute the 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 revenue from selling the content. But for now, we have technological constraints. And companies need to cooperate with each other. We need to make improvement in terms of cooperation. And metaverse universe will increase further. And some may have the, the vested rights in the metaverse world. But we have to monitor how certain data uh, spreads across the metaverse and how we're going to assign and distribute uh, revenue uh, will be important. And I'd like to ask Kang Tae-jin the same question. Director Kim tan Hyu told us about the copyright issues in NFT markets. 
But I can see a different trend in the webtoon copyright infringement. So in the existing platforms, the copyright infringement happens when it comes to webtoons. Are there any copyright infringement issues regarding webtoons that could happen in the near future? Webtoon platforms, it already has an existing traditional, conventional model. Now, NFTs are used to readjust RFT and the structure of a profits, but I'm not sure whether everyone in the market will welcome this new structure or change. In the near future, webtoons and web novels, I believe they will be more popular in the global market. The most important thing is issues regarding viewers. The images provided in applications they are subject to regulations of W3C. There are two things. One is encrypted image presented based on public keys. And this prevents screenshot of images. And this can be part of an international standards. So we can create a standardized format that can be used for webtoons. There are some Korean platforms that use DRM. Web Neighbor, Webtoon, and Kakao Page didn't provide DRMs online or mobile on mobile devices. You have to use personal computers, PCs to be provided DRM. That means some people are worried that this could be a too much load on traffic. So if we can come up with a new idea to prevent crawling And if we can DRM, we can apply DRM to webtoons, that would be a great idea. I want to ask the same question to Mr. Park Jong Ho. Theme of the conference is technical challenges for everyone's copyright. And in the case of OK pop companies or for all music creators, we are trying to open the era of copyright. Professor Nam talked about AI in music industry. In order to ensure copyright for everyone, what kind of issues do you have? And recently, we're focusing on AI composers. Most of the AI compos composer developers have two directions in their R&D. First of all, they are trying to um, use AI Composer as a collaborator. This is the direction pursued by Amazon. And the other way is that the AI Composer can serve as a substitute or alternatives. It doesn't necessarily have to be a famous popular music with the value of art, many people are just trying to replace the existing composers with AI composer. But I personally think that rather than the concept of substitutes or alternatives, creators can use AI as a tool to improve their uh, productivity. Then we will continue to keep um, operating the music market. It seems that if AI replaces the work of human, then the music market itself will stop uh, thriving. 
So if you think about the sustainability of the music market, we need to develop AI technologies in a way to collaborate with the creators, in a way to help creators enhance their productivity. This is the direction, desirable direction. Thank you very much for your participation in this panel.